Hello, my most amazing artist. Today we are going to make complimentary creature prints. We're going to use our monster drawings from last class and turn them into these colorful prints. Here are some examples that I made. Here are the three steps of our complimentary creature prints. On the left is our original drawing. In the middle is the styrofoam printmaking plate that we are going to make today. And on the right is the print made from the styrofoam plate. Today we are going to learn about a type of printmaking called etching. We are going to etch into a piece of styrofoam. There are three main types of printmaking. Etching, like this self-portrait by artist Rembrandt. Wood block, like this wave made by artist Hokusai. And screen printing, like this screen print by Andy Warhol. Printmaking allows us to make several copies of our artwork. We're going to begin our etching by attaching our drawing to the styrofoam block by lining up the top of the drawing with the top of the styrofoam block and attaching it with two pieces of masking tape. We are only attaching at the top so that we can hinge our drawing up to take a look at the block as we transfer our drawing. To transfer our drawing onto the styrofoam, we are going to use a dull colored pencil. Now we're using a dull colored pencil so that we don't rip into the paper, but we're able to press into it to make an indent on the styrofoam below. The paper will make a crackling sound and that's totally normal. And it might even rip a little bit and that's okay because the drawing is not going to be our final product. We are making a styrofoam plate to make prints out of. Go over your lines carefully, and if your paper starts to rip, pick your pencil up and put it back down in another place. I decided not to draw my eyelids because the lines were a little too close together. So instead, I gave my monster some cute eyebrows. Trace over your entire drawing. You'll know where you've already traced because you can see the colored pencil lines. Once you've traced your entire drawing, you're going to go over it again with a different colored pencil. This is going to make your indents in the styrofoam easier to see and trace over. It may seem like a lot of work, but it's worth it. Once you have traced over your entire drawing twice with colored pencil, you can remove your drawing from the styrofoam plate. Now take your colored pencil and trace over all of the lines in your drawing on your plate. Make sure your indents are nice and deep, but don't press too hard and dig through the styrofoam. The styrofoam is soft, so make sure that your pressure is just enough to make a good indent but not enough to tear through it. Once you've traced over your entire drawing, it's time to start thinking about color. We are going to use complementary color sets in our prints. Complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel and they are the most different from each other. Choosing a complementary color scheme for our artwork gives our artwork contrast. You are going to choose two sets of complementary colors. One set for the monster and one set for the background. For my monster, I chose to use red and green complementary colors. For my background, I chose to use yellow and purple. You can also choose blue and orange. One set for the monster and one set for your background. 
color in all of the sections of your monster, leaving no white spaces. The lines that we drew with our colored pencils are pushed in, so they won't show up on our final print. The color that we're coloring on the surface of our printmaking plate is what is going to show up on our print. Once you've colored in your entire monster with one complementary color set, it's time to use your second complementary color set to color in the background. You want to separate your background into at least two sections. I'm going to make a line that goes behind my monster and separates the top section from the bottom. If you like, you can separate your background into different shapes or designs however you like. I'm just doing two sections, yellow in the top and purple in the bottom. The markers that you're using should be nice and juicy. They may not look too bright on the plate, printmaking plate, but trust me, when they're transferred to the paper, they will look very different. Try not to touch the plate as you're coloring you may get some marker on your fingers and rub some off the plate. If that happens, just color it again. Now it's time to make our first print on paper. We're using a damp sponge to wet the paper. The wet paper is going to absorb the, wa the washable marker off of our printmaking plate. The paper should have a nice sheen to it, but not be soaking wet. Our first print may not come out as bright, we're going to lay the, the printmaking plate on top of the paper slowly so you can line it up. Once you touch the paper, don't move the printmaking plate. We're going to use a brayer like this roller here, and we're going to roll over the back of the printmaking plate carefully without moving it. If it moves, it'll make a blurry image. You will be making three prints. So you'll have plenty of opportunities to get the perfect print. Our first print had lots of white spots on it. So we're going to try again and roll a little longer this time. I've recolored my plate, wetting my paper, and we're going to use the brayer to roll over the back of our printmaking plate to make a nice print. It's very important to hold the printmaking plate down with your other hand while you're rolling with the brayer. This is how we want our print to look. Nice bright colors and clean lines. The print in the middle of these three prints has come out the best. The one on the left didn't have enough water, so it came out with a lot of white spots. The one on the right had too much water, so it came out blurry. The one in the middle had the right amount of water and the right amount of ink to make a perfect print. Once you've made your three prints, choose the best one as your final piece. I can't wait to see the amazing complimentary creature prints that you make. See you soon, amazing artists.